Last night, President Trump announced the nomination of Judge Neil Gorsuch to the Supreme Court. He will fill the spot left vacant by the death of Justice Antonin Scalia. Justice Scalia left a profound mark on our judicial history. He had a brilliant mind, a ready wit, and a vivid and colorful writing style that made reading his decisions not only illuminating, but enjoyable. But most importantly, Antonin Scalia had a profound respect for the rule of law and the Constitution. He knew that he was a judge, not a legislator, and that his job was not to make the law, but to interpret the law. And that's exactly what he did. For 30 years, Justice Scalia ruled on the plain meaning of the laws and the Constitution. His politics, his personal opinions, his own feelings about a case, none of those was allowed to play a role in his decision. He asked what the law said and what the Constitution said, and he ruled accordingly, even when he didn't like the result. Justice Scalia once said, and I quote, if you're going to be a good and faithful judge, you have to resign yourself to the fact that you're not always going to like the conclusions you reach. If you like them all the time, you're probably doing something wrong, end quote. Well, Madam President, needless to say, Justice Scalia left some big shoes to fill. But after learning a little bit about Judge Gorsuch, I have to say that if anyone can come to fill them, I think Judge Gorsuch can. Like Justice Scalia, Judge Gorsuch has a brilliant mind. He shares Justice Scalia's gift for the written word. The Washington Post noted that many people, and I quote, who have praised Gorsuch's lucid and occasionally lyrical writing style. Slate called Judge Gorsuch's writing, and I quote, superb, incisive, witty, and accessible. But most important, Madam President, like Justice Scalia, Judge Gorsuch understands the role of a Supreme Court justice. He knows that it's a justice's job to interpret the law, not write it. In a speech last year, Judge Gorsuch said the following, perhaps the greatest project of Justice Scalia's career was to remind us of the differences between judges and legislators, end quote. Well, understanding those differences, Madam President, is indispensable. Brilliance, eloquence, learning, compassion. None of those things matter if you don't understand the proper role of the Supreme Court. And that role is to interpret the law, not make the law. To judge, not legislate. To call balls and strikes, not to try and rewrite the rules of the game. It's great to have strong opinions. It's great to have sympathy for causes or organizations. It's great to have plans for fixing society's problems. But none of those things has any business influencing your ruling when you sit on the Supreme Court. Judge Gorsuch understands this, and that is why I trust him to sit on the Supreme Court. Madam President, when Judge Gorsuch was nominated to the 10th Circuit Court of Appeals 10 years ago, he was confirmed by unanimous vote here in the United States Senate. You can't really get a more bipartisan confirmation than that. At the time, then-Senator Ken Salazar, a Colorado Democrat who later became Interior Secretary under President Obama, noted that Judge Gorsuch, and I quote, has a sense of fairness and impartiality that is a keystone of being a judge. Well, Madam President, given the wide respect in which Judge Gorsuch has held, his outstanding record and his previous overwhelmingly bipartisan confirmation, I am hopeful that his nomination will move quickly through the United States Senate. Senate Democrats have spoken a lot about the need to fill the ninth seat on the Supreme Court. Well, now is their chance. I congratulate Judge Gorsuch on his nomination, and I look forward, Madam President, to seeing him confirmed to the Supreme Court.